Hello cruise fans, welcome to the Norwegian getaway somewhere in between Curaçao and the Dominican Republic. Join me for breakfast, the ropes course, Broadway Unplugged, Le Bistro and Howl at the Moon. My name is Brown, this is Brown Sees the Day. Welcome everybody. Welcome to um, the Norwegian getaway, in case you didn't see the first couple of vlogs. Uh, today is um, day 7 of our cruise and it's a uh, it's a sea day um, I have not kind of like a late start it is now 10 49 a.m. so what's the plan for today not much like the uh, daily says relax your own vacation well thanks for reminding me so today is a day at sea, it's a beautiful day out there. We'll start off with breakfast, then um, get ourselves a spot somewhere outside on the pool deck. Get some of that sun. And tonight, big plans as always. Uh, Broadway Unplugged is on, uh, on our schedule. Uh, we'll do the early show have some drinks there before we get ready to go to uh, Le Bistro. So I've collected my wife. She was at Spice H2O drinking uh, mimosas. Yes. And why not, right? But now we're hungry. Make sure it's the right side. And we need food. Good morning. Morning. The Garden Cafe Buffet serves breakfast 6 to 11.30 a.m. And we're cutting it close with only 15 minutes to go. But I don't need much, so it should work. You know me, two eggs over easy, some bacon and a couple of croissants, and I'm good to go. But with the clock ticking, I'll have to pass on filming everything that's out there. And speaking of that ticking clock, if I keep washing my hands, for another 10 minutes, I won't see any breakfast at all. It is day seven of this cruise and I'm slowing down considerably. You know what I'm saying? Before you leave, you think, okay, first I'll do this, then I'll do that, and then that spot after that, and so on. But a couple of days in, you change that into maybe tomorrow, no rush. Or when you decide to go to the pool and have one cocktail, just one. And when they ask one more, your mind says no, but your lips go sure. Okay, I made it to the omelet station in time. We're starting to clean up, but I think I'll make it. Like some uh, croissants, is that still possible? Yeah, of course, absolutely. Only different. All right. So, only this side is closing down. I wish I knew that I wouldn't have gone to the other side. Not that anyone is rushing me, I just don't want to be the reason to make anybody work longer because of me. So, for my own peace of mind, I want to rush this a bit. Them having to open these barriers and dividers for me is pretty too much. And now the thongs are being removed. Oh, it's getting worse. Yes, that is way too much bacon but I just want to grab and get out of their way as quickly and as painless as possible. Open on the front. Oh, okay, let's move to the front then. The front section is open. Okay, and this section is roped off. How do I get there? Let's forward to the pool. 
You get the idea, I'm sure. Because our friends are getting creative. Hey Bram, let's film some optical illusions. Yes, they are really walking on water. And you have to try these breadsticks. Bjorn tells me they're smoking. Today was all about recharging and it worked. But now we're ready for action. Let's do the rope course. There is no extra charge for this and no reservation is needed. On busy days there could be a line but I never saw it having more than four people. So basically no wait. Yes. There is a minimum height of 48 inches, so I made it. And despite all that bacon, I'm still below the maximum weight of 300 pounds. Make sure to wear closed toe shoes, shorts or long pants and a t-shirt to protect you from the harness. And empty pockets. They don't want you to drop anything, including yourself, while you're up there. Guides will assist you to gear up and explain what not to do. There are guides along the course as well, and I'm all geared up, let's add some cinematic music to make all this look super scary and challenging. I'm not comfortable with heights, would that be an issue with the ropes course, I think?
<laughs> you did? Yes. You tried to wind the bank? I did, twice. Twice, all the way? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the way. Good. No hands? Uh, one hand. <laughs> Thank you. This was fun. Some obstacles are more challenging than others, but you can pick and choose which one to do and which ones to skip. It's not a fixed route or anything, and you feel secure most of the time. So I recommend this for everyone. You decide how hard you want to make it, and at your own pace. All in all, we took about an hour up there. Now it's back to our cabin for a shower. It is time to get our evening going. So tonight, as I'm getting ready, tonight is all about yet another fancy dinner. And location for tonight is Le Bistro. So it'll be uh, extra special, extra fancy. But before we do, we're uh, having pre-dinner drinks at the Illusionarium. Because there's like a... Um, it's basically the crew that does Million Dollar Quartet does like this side thing in the Illusionarium um, where they take Broadway songs and, and put them like in, in a different version. Um, they call it Broadway Unplugged. Now, I must say, I've seen that show a couple of months ago when I was last on the uh, uh, on the NCL getaway back in Europe, in the Mediterranean, and I must say I'm not a big musical fan. I am a big music fan, and I was uh, pleasantly surprised because although all the songs they do are from musicals, famous musicals, um, famous songs, but I only recognized like three of them like i said not a musical guy uh, but they did it really nice so it's like a it's a 45 minute show no upcharge or anything uh so it's not like a food and show kind of thing just drinks so we thought that's a perfect pre-dinner drink location having the live music along with it and I'll take you along. I won't show you the entire show. Show you bits and pieces. And uh, after that, like I said, Le Bistro. And I'm hungry and ready for Le Bistro. <laughs> I guess it wasn't that big of a line. No, maybe it was not that big. <laughs> Illusionarium is unique to the NCL getaway, located on deck 6 forward, so all the way down and all the way to the front, underneath the theater. This steampunk themed venue is easily missed. It's also used for lectures, bingo, tabletop escape games and the obvious 
an illusionist. On this cruise, this was Raphael. His performance was a dinner show for an upcharge, if I remember correctly, of $30, with a three-course dinner performed every three days. But today's event is included. No reservations are needed, and drinks are being served. I'll use two minutes to share some clips of what's to come, so you can decide if you want to add this to your list or not. It's supposed to be a 45 minute show and we don't expect this event to have the quality level of sitting on this poor house, but like I said, it's our pre-dinner drink location. This won't make or break our evening experience. For us, tonight is all about Le Bistro, so we can't go wrong. Broadway Unplugged, bringing your favorite Broadway songs reimagined, rearranged and performed live. For your convenience, our friendly bar staff are available to assist you if you'd like to order a drink. And now enjoy Broadway Unplugged. Thank you. 
for the main events, we are given the option of dining inside or out. Besides the fact that outside is technically not outside, it's right here, for us there was no doubt, inside for sure. Although this is a nice area, we find it way too loud for fine dining. But hey, some people prefer this. I don't judge, but for us, it felt way too much like a shopping mall at least. So definitely inside. That's the vibe we're looking for. Le Bistro is specialty dining with a capital S. We're using our third and final specialty dining credit for this. If you're new to NCL, here's the deal. Depending on your booking, you'll get one, two or three specialty dining included. For me, Cagney's and Le Bistro are two no-brainers. On most ships, Cagney's has been number one for me. And going on our experience here a couple of days ago, it will be nearly impossible to beat. Further down on my list, there's Ocean Blue as a strong third choice, followed by Teppanyaki and Modernos. If you feel you don't get enough specialty dining with your booking, definitely consider buying extra packages before your cruise. They are great value. You can also pay a la carte prices, but expect this to triple the price. So if you are a foodie, get some dining packages. They are worth every set. Alright, so my name is Indra. I'm going to be your server for tonight. We'll start now for you, but I'm sparkling. Still a regular ice water is fine. A regular ice water is fine. Any food allergy? No. 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 And dat zal ik dan niet komen zijn. Ja, dat is het gewoon te doen. Ik ben zeer blij. 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 Ik Ik weet dat ik een Maltec zowel kan smaken. Voor mij een glas per seconde. Yes, yes, dat maakt zeker dat. Ik ben er niet 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 Ik Santé. Bonne nuit. À bonne heure. I like the uh, escargot, escargot, and then the mushroom soup, and the dome soul. The same as my daddy. Hi, <laughs> Papa. Who are you calling me, Daddy? <laughs> Who's your daddy? <laughs> daddy, cool. <laughs> No, I don't Next know. Next door. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> what do we do? Where do we go? Oh, you want to show off the dress or, yeah. or not? For now, please. Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 Yes.
say so much and um, this mushroom soup may not look like much but watch how I react this is one of the best things I have ever tasted and I don't like mushrooms believe it or not culinary orgasm in three two one multiple orgasms actually <laughs>
For me, no Irish coffee, but I would like the uh, the Frasier. 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 He's an English French guy. <laughs> Would you like another glass of red wine with the cheese? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. For now, it's good. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Right, see, la, la, la. You want to do it? Yeah. 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 Song, but I can do another one. It's got a lot of the same notes in it. Is that cool? And uh, I'm assuming it's from the uh, swinger group because it says hot sex on the beach. Mm. Well, no, it just it says hot sex on the beach. Okay, all right. Well, that's you know, if it's on the beach, it's going to be hot. And so it goes without saying. So, uh, how many ACDC fans we got in here? Make some noise. Look, look, see, I'm scaring people out of here now because I'm talking about sex on the beach and swinging and now, oh my God, now it's just, They're like, we didn't get on Carnival, what the fuck? <laughs> it's freestyle cruising, evidently, all right. Here, everybody put your keys in the bowl. <laughs> what the fuck? I swear to God. This is what happens when you feed me alcohol. All right, so, uh, all right, so we're going to do another ACDC song and if you don't like it, well, I don't really care. I hope you enjoyed joining us today. Give me a thumbs up if you did. The Norwegian getaway is slowly but surely making her way to the Dominican Republic. Traveling like this sure beats flying. And I'll share all there is to share of our day tomorrow on the next episode. We booked a canyoning excursion and we can't wait for that. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content. For now, I'll let Steven scream his lungs out before we raise our glasses for a toast.
besides, uh, well, actually, who's going to be? Oh, we got to work tomorrow. This is crazy. I'm, I shouldn't be getting this drunk. All right, let's do another toast, folks. You got, first off, thank you so much for coming in here and partying with us here. You guys kick ass. We love you all. Uh, you could be anywhere. Actually, I don't. I think this might. We might be the only thing going on right about now. That's why. Yeah. See, that's why they're here. There's nothing else going on. Otherwise, they'd be up in Oshian eating ice cream. <laughs> so let's do a toast. Um, let's do a toast. Here's to nipples. Because without nipples, breasts are pointless. Cheers to nipples. Why not? And cheers to you for joining me all the way to the end. If you want to see this cruise from the start, hit the link on the left. And if you want to join me in the Mediterranean, check out the vlogs on the right. As always, thank you for watching.